everyone and welcome to Green Healing. Today I want to share with you the herbs I use for colds and flus. You never know when you're going to be under the weather and I'm just getting over a cold slash flu now. So keep in mind that if you've never used herbs before it's best to test them out one by one to see how your body reacts to them. Also, as a disclaimer, I want to let everyone know that I'm not a medical professional. This is not a replacement for uh, medical professionals, but this is what I do for myself and it potentially it could also help you along your healing journey. So the first herb we have here is black elder. Black elder is good for fever, cold and influenza and sore throat, especially if I'm at the beginning stages of a cold, I always put black elder. Lemon balm is another one that's good for fever. I mentioned in my burnout brew video that I put it for the, for my anxiety, it's good for depression, melancholy, and nervous tension, as well as for fever. Red clover is another essential one, especially for mucus congestion. It's a blood purifier. It's good for coughs, colds, different kinds of mucus congestion and mucus infections. It's also good for anxiety and nerves, for the skin, for uh, psoriasis, eczema, and other, and certain rashes and other skin conditions. However, keep in mind that red clover is a blood thinner. So if you have a recent wound or something, maybe it's not necessarily recommended. Also, if you're in your menstrual cycle, it will make the flow heavier and thinner depending how your cycle usually is. So keep that in mind if taking red clover. Usually, personally, it just makes it a little heavier and it's not very detrimental to my personal cycle, but everyone is different. So keep that in mind if ever you take it and you notice a difference in your cycle, it could be uh, due to the red clover. Echinacea is an essential one for colds and flus. It boosts the immune system. It's good for cold and influenza, fever and sore throat. It's one I often put in my brews. Another good one just for a little bit of an extra uh, boost in vitamin C is I put rose hips. Rose hips are high in vitamin C. So in addition to taking vitamin C uh, vitamins, I put rose hips in my brew. It always boosts the vitamins. And those are basically the herbs that I turn to, that I use frequently for colds and flus. Remember that when you're brewing, Roots and hard stems always go in first for 20 minutes. Once the water boils, you turn it down to three, something like that. You let it simmer for 20 minutes and then you add uh, soft stems, leaves and flowers and you turn it off. You give it a stir and you let it sit for 20 minutes before you drink the brew. And it's always a teaspoon, one heaping teaspoon for one cup of water and always put a bit of extra water for the evaporation and the absorption. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and let me know other herbs that you use yourself for colds and flus. I hope this was useful for you. If you like what I do here on Green Healing, I have links in the description below of how you can contribute. And as always, empower yourself and be emotionally free.